Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tony Setiobudis, an orthopedic and spine surgeon at Mount Elizabeth Hospital, Singapore. I'm going to demonstrate lumbar spinal fusion in this video. Okay, normally this is a sore bone, but in the real life, we don't see the bone like this but we only see the back part of the bone, of the spine, okay? And the rest is covered. So we only see this part. And we use the bony landmark to decide where to put the screw. The screw is called pedicle screw. Basically, this is called pedicle, the strongest part of the spine. So we put the screw in the pedicle to hold the spine together. Okay, let's start. First, we have to find where we are going to put the pedicle screw. Orthopedic surgeon, we are good at this and we know where to put the screw. So if once we have decided where to put the screw, we create an opening using this sharp instrument. Then after that, we use this probe to create the trajectory of the screw. Okay, why we don't use this probe straight away because it can slip so we have to use the oil first so that we have some opening so this is following trajectory of the pedicle if we just see the back part of the spine how do we know the direction of the pedicle normally I, I, I see the curve of the spine and I go perpendicular to the curve so this is usually is correct. Then we use this instrument called filler to fill if the hole that we created, that I created is all in the bone. So if all is in the bone, I should feel something hard. But if I feel something soft, that means this is not correct and I have to redo it again. So this is all hard. Okay, then I measure the length. This is the length of the screw. So once I know the length, then I decide what is the screw size, the length, and I, I tap. This is a tap instrument called tap to create a thread in the pedicle screw hole before I put in the pedicle screw. Then after that, I put in the pedicle screw. This is called the pedicle screw. We put it inside the pedicle. This is, I'm demonstrating one level lumbar spine fusion. So we put four screws two on each side. This is the most tiring part of the operation. Put in the screw. <coughs> so we put two on one side. Okay, I turn. So usually in the real life, I go to the other side and put in the screw from the other side. Okay, the last one. This will be the last screw for one level fusion. So squeaking in the bone when I put in pedicle screw is a good sign. That means the screw has good purchase on the bone. So four screws in, then we put in the rod. So we have to align the screw so that we can put in the rod. The rod is to hold the two segments together. Uh, before I put in the rods, I check with X-ray. I make sure the spectacle screw that I put in is in the correct place. If not in the correct place, then I will redo.
Okay, this is a sleeve. I, I, I want to change the direction of the head, just the head, not the screw. This just the head okay, to make it nicer. Okay, after that, I will lock it. Then we will have this construct. So previously, just imagine this one can move. If the spine is not move, is moving abnormally, then it can create problem and can press the nerve inside the spinal canal. So if there is any spinal instability and there is nerve compression, I will do spinal fusion like that. So the bones, the two bones that initially can move against each other then I will lock it once it is locked the spine becomes stable and the nerve is not irritated and the, this is decompression freeing up the, the nerve compression this is lumbar spinal fusion if you have any questions feel free to type it out in the comment section below if you find this video useful please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.